Sarah here at Healing Field Farm. Welcome back to Sarah Sundays. Today we're going to be making a lavender bath bomb. Um, I'm going to choose lavender because it's a calming oil and I don't know about you guys but I had a kind of a stressful week so a nice calming bath bomb is a good way to end a week and start a new week. So a couple things we're going to need for this. We're going to start with some baking soda. Um, then we're going to need citric acid. This is what's going to make it fizzy. I'm going to use some Epsom salt and we're going to use some cornstarch. Those will be our dry ingredients. And then we're going to use almond oil. You can also use a coconut oil if you want to melt it down. We only need about two and a half to three and a half tablespoons of that. Um, an essential oil. I'm going to actually also add a little bit of dried lavender. And I do have some um, mica powder. I have some red and blue I'm going to mix together to try to find a purple color because I do not have purple. So um, those are it for the ingredients. So I'll show you how we're going to throw it together and then I'll show you some of the types of molds you can use. So we're going to start with baking soda. We need one cup. soda and then we're going to do half a cup of our citric acid and the citric acid i'm using i bought at um, hobby lobby you can also buy it at michael's amazon not sure if walmart carries it or not but i always find it at the craft stores Use half a cup of Epsom salt. And half a cup of cornstarch. That's it for our dry ingredients. So we're just gonna whisk this together a little bit. All right, and before I add the wet ingredients, I'm gonna go ahead and add some color. So we'll start with some red. See what color we get with this. So I'm not sure if you can see, but I'm just getting a really light pink. So I'm going to go ahead and add a darker blue. You don't need to add the colors, I just like to. And they're safe, it's just mica powder. Okay, so that's a very light, light purple, which we're going to stick with. Okay, so for our wet ingredients, I'm going to use almond oil. Like I said, you can use coconut oil. You'll just want to melt it down. And we're going to go with about two and a half tablespoons to start. Two 
It's about two and a half. Okay, so we'll add 15 drops of lavender. And in, the essential oil doesn't have to be exact. It's mostly just what you are comfortable with as far as the scent goes. If you want it a little stronger, add a little more. If you want it a little weaker, add a little less. All right, to our oil, we are going to add about three quarters of a tablespoon of water. to our mixture slowly because we don't want to activate the citric acid and have it all start bubbling up on us. bubbling up just a little bit, which is fine. And then we get it mixed in here. All right, and our consistency isn't quite what it needs to be. We need to have a little more wetness if we're gonna form it. Sorry, Chloe. So we're going to go ahead and add a little more almond oil. Just give my poor dog a hot drink. All right, I'm going to start with about a tablespoon. I'm at about three and a half tablespoons. All right, and that's much better. So this is the consistency you want it. I know it's kind of hard to see, but you pretty much want to be able to pack it down because we're going to put it into some molds and let it harden. So, you can use any molds you like. I have these little um, silicone cupcake molds. Sometimes I use those. I have three different sizes of these metal molds that will turn them into balls. I actually have one here from earlier that's been setting. So, that's what it will look like. Not quite done yet. Pack that down and put that away. Um, I have soap molds that you can use. Just pack it right in there. Let it dry for 24 hours. And then I have this big plastic mold. Um, this one I did put a little dried lavender in before I put the mixture in. And then you fill both sides, seal it up. This one's not completely dry yet either, but I'll show you. This is a nice big one when it comes out. So I'll let that dry again. And then I'll show you how I pack them up. it down really tight. 
tight. This will make quite a few bath bombs depending on the sizes that you choose to do. Uh, of course, if you make more of the bigger ones, you won't get as many. So pack them down. And then you really want to get them together. As they harden, they will stick. So like I said, let that sit 24 hours. Bath bombs are good to go. Also put one in our soap bowl here. And these will pop out nice and easy once they dry. I'm actually going to add a little of that dried lavender. So just some dried lavender flowers. Just like that nice extra scent. Here's a couple of those. So I've made four different sizes already. And I still have quite a bit of mixture left. And one more. I also have one of these. You can get these at most of the craft stores too. It will hold four. That one's not ready yet to come out. So I just wanted to show you guys some of the different molds that you can do has a little air pocket so it will sit and dry for 24 hours and I think that's about it oh I have one more little cupcake one um, still drying so that's it so um, it's one cup of baking soda half a cup of citric acid half a cup of Epsom salt half a cup of cornstarch color pigment if you choose to then it's two and a half a tablespoons or three and a half if you want to get your consistency a little better of almond oil or coconut oil melted down you want to do about three quarters of a tablespoon of water and 10 to 15 drops of essential oil i used lavender um, if you wanted to kind of uplift your mood or find an energizing one you could go with the citrus essential oil and even add like a, a dried orange peel or something to that all right, and just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like, this one's not completely dry yet, but there you go. Nice and fizzy. Smells, smells really good. All right, so those were bath bombs, lavender bath bombs. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And we will see you again next Sunday. Thanks, guys.